the call the Water Center Utility Board meeting to order and opening the meeting. And if we could begin with invocation by a We'll let Lonnie walk in, so. You got to play. I'm going to leave, which is two to the five. Now, let's start this one here. The two Richard Sands, one nation, under God, is this world. It's a very difficult question to start off. Let me see what you're doing. Well, I don't have any money. That suits me fine. I think you got a threat in the back here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Better off than don't go. So, you have to go to before it's really. You had to. Oh, no. No. <laughs> that, that's where it that's works. <laughs> Next order of business is our roll call and termination form. Heather Bay. Present. Jack Nicole. Here. Mark White. Here. Lonnie Taylor. Here. Casey Parker Harper. Here. We do have four. Thank you. Are there any amendments to the agenda? Uh, they, they were not, the agenda was not altered from the last one she received last week versus this one. Move to approve, move to approve the agenda that is written. Second, and all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, uh, motion carried. Your finalized financial report is quite extensive and it is in there. And this is as of June 2024 um, for the financial forks. Uh, we will need to see about getting an approval for the 20, June 2024 finalized financial forks for the board. This is what you sent us. This is the same thing as that what was sent in the yeah. email. Yeah. Second. First. Second file. Mr. White, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Next order of business is our minutes that are in the packet as well. Don't think that we had anything that was changed from those that were previously emailed out versus what's in front of you tonight for you to approve. So, can we get a motion for the approval of the June 2024 board meeting minutes? So Second. Call uh, for a first and then Lonnie. For a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Motion carries. This is actually the July 2024 financial reports that were also in your packet. Kind of doubling up, um, which is a little more than what we're used to. Um, those have not been altered from the original ones that were sent to you as well. That and they match what is in your packet here today. Second. First and second. All in favor, say aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Next order of business is our engineering report from Mr. Evan White of Mid 10 Engineering. All right. Uh, yep. Head for it. We'll have a time on Thursday at 11 a.m. We're going to start here and then go inside. It's also an audit. So I'll see everything that anyone has started. Uh, we'll file whatever we're looking for. Um, make sure you close out that project with the SRM uh, office. The wall monitors for the sewer will be open. The bid open's been rescheduled for September the 26th at 2 p.m. I have recent the documents to um, the bidder to turn in last time. 
Uh, we're having to redo that because of a big heavy cut on advertising heavy calorie to go to the DBE office and some of the extra requirements that are required with this uh, ARPA room. So, um, and the water tank projects that we got, the specs have been approved by PDEC and they are uploaded to GMS, which is the grant management systems for ARP to approve those. And they'll go out to bid by as soon as we get those back. And then for the water treatment plant, that's also part of the ARP money. We're working on permits for the coin day day from there. And I'll take a question in terms. Anything on any of the problems? Anybody have any questions for any of the after projects? Preliminary work, uh, just so I think you're on that project as well with the Industrial Development Board for the dredging. Are you working on that project? Mm -hmm. You're not. The preliminary work was has started this week. So mm -hmm. um, for the dock project, that looks like it's down by the TVA grant. So. Mm -hmm. We're working on the site building with them on trying to get the sewer down there. But that's mm -hmm. one. And I don't see that you have anything that needs any movement this evening. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Next order of business is our general manager report, Mr. Tony Kirk. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you know, we the prayer to Ben Tank and search. We put it together and search on uh, 731 24. We put the third pressure relief valve in and it failed. But we got it going, we figured out there was an air relief valve malfunction maybe. And uh, we put on an high tide monitor to shut it off with the pressure, gain too much pressure for the town, and it'll shut, shut the tank off before we have too much pressure. And uh, we got some uh, major sewer replacements. And uh, it's about a new project that we'll for. Requesting for a break on sewer as they are taking sewer elsewhere. And uh, we'll need to add a second meter only built for what goes back into the sewer. Had this same request from Bill Braggs years ago. From what I understand, this um, request is a sewer request for commercial. Is that correct? And this is the same one that Scotty and you went to the meeting yeah. on. Okay, so there was a commercial request from a developer that was um, pursuing TVA property, or I'll say over there by TVA, the industrial park. They're looking to um, have such an excessive amount of sewer disposal that it would be the most economical if they take a lot of it off the site and not run it through our systems, which would also be a blessing for us to not have to treat. And so they're asking for a break and, and to acquire the break. Um, what I'm hearing you say right now is they're asking for a break. Is it only paying for what comes back into the system or are they asking for anything more than that? And that the second meter is only to collect the data confirming how much is actually going into our system that we would bill them instead of doing a normal match to match. Mm -hmm. um, does that make sense? I don't know, that was an option. Yeah. Well, it has it, been found it, it, it has been found an option in other in other worlds. Um so if you can prove that you do not have that much sewer, that much water going out through the sewer lines that's coming in through the water lines. Um, you can you can put a meter on there and it confirms what goes back into so the system. What are they doing? They what what are they doing? Yeah, what, what kind of business is it? Um, it's manufacturing. Anybody here? <laughs> But there's a flow meter on the return. I mean, that, I still want to know what they're doing. I like to know exactly. where they're taking it. It's a. It's, What's that called? Is it the battery? Is it the battery group? I'm trying to. Is that a charge? Is it that paper battery? 
I was not there. It was just Scotty was there. And I don't know that they ever said exactly what they were going to be doing. I think it does have something to do with automotive. automotive. It's an automotive service or an automotive part provider is what it is. But I'm, so, I'm not exactly sure. I, I didn't get all that. And for some reason, I'm thinking battery. But um, how do they have more sewage sure. and they have water, water coming in? Copy that. But then we need to have water for that. Would they tap water in the store? Would it be cheaper than just buying still water? Mm -hmm. I want to know where they're taking their waste. Mm -hmm. They're gonna pay for the meter. No they'll pay for the meter. They'll pay for the they'll pay for the sewage that goes through the meter. They just would like to be not forced to pay all the sewer fees for what comes out of the water meter. Is that correct? If they were the hundred percent that we bought. Yeah, I'm gonna look into that at our place because I'm pretty confident we have a lot more coming in than going out. Old double old money. Uh, as long as they're gonna pay for the meter, I don't, I don't care. But whatever it is that they're disposing of, we're better off. What do we charge for? A, what do we charge for a sewer meter? Oh, I think it's. Uh, I'm, I'm not, not sure. We asked for this. It'll be a work. Board of directors are. I want to go back to this because I had this problem when, when Tommy was here. The way we're pricing our meters, we even got to the point where we were losing money on meters. Uh, maybe not in this particular case, but at some point, I think we need to circle back and it, it should be a cost plus type situation, not just a flat rate. Because if we get out there and you hit bedrock, it's going to cost us more money to put it in than what we're going to charge them. Yeah. I, I, and we're never going to make that money back off of sewer fees. And then, so we're doing the study with TAUD currently right now. And so they're working on water. Well, I'm supposed to be prepared for you. <laughs> But they are sewer in the water, so it's the same rate. I mean, I, I have no issue with this whatsoever. This is maybe, but again, which costs the cost to do it. Got a I not 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 in this situation because I mean we're we're there. We just last year, year before, I don't you may not even I wasn't here when the increase happened. It came up, you know, we had not been making money putting in meters and we raised the price a little bit. And I questioned then because we just kind of threw an arbitrary number on it and, and I felt like it should have been because we don't have any control over when the price of those meters goes up. But we would have to circle back every time as a board and approve charging more for those meters. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Whereas if we just kind of do a cost plus thing, then we'll make sure that in the TAUD project, if they do not have that, we'll come back to it for sure. And as they're doing that study for the rates for us right now, and if it if it doesn't include the meters, if it's just the water flow, then we'll. We'll see if we can come up with that. But um, at cost know. plus 20, you're merely going to recoup handling fees, stocking fees, uh, any over expenditures. You're not going to make it a lot of right. money. You're not you're going to be able to recoup. You're not even going to recoup. That's, that's bad. We're, 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 we're passing dollars for somebody else. And I think we're just needing approval to be a, from the board to offer that to this. Since they got it for it, because we have another business that has requested the same. Well, live it. You know, Bryce, they, mm -hmm. they're paying mm -hmm. the same. And they had asked before about getting a metered to see, because what they're using, it does not go all back into the sewer. If they're willing to purchase the second meter to monitor how much sewer is released, it's even from the space to our system um, and nothing more within that request and they're willing to cover the cost of that 
insulation. Um, I, I don't have any issue with it as long as we don't open the door. That, you know. That's why we're so, coming here. Well, and if, if you make it within the unit, you know, grandma decides she wants the sewer meter. Well, this is this is a this is why I felt that it was time for, it was really huge that everyone knew that this was an industrial commercial camp. I don't think either one of us were here, but I'm wondering why Mueller didn't get it done before when they had requested it. Why was it? I don't know. I haven't seen it the last time either. So I'm just, I'm just curious, maybe, and I'm not okay. saying we are, but we're missing something. And due to, due to the fact that this is a commercial industrial account and that they're already paying higher fees than your normal residential service, um, would this board see that it's okay to uh, confirm that we're only charging the sewer for what is being put back into the system because it's the commercial account? Um, and think I think that's what we have the request for today. And um, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. We can have a no, you're, you're golden. If we can have a motion and a second for this, I'll make the motion. Uh, yes, you have something else. We'll have to calibrate it once a year to reference college study. And then add that, and we'll need to cover that that cost. will a line item. Yeah. And then I think that. I think we've got to be careful because I don't want to open this up to all industries. You know what I mean? Because you're looking at what if we can easily divide, you know, would that make sense? Well, as far as that goes, though, as long as they're willing to eat the cost, as long as it's not costing the water department money. So to, as long as they're willing to yeah. build. And then, like the you said, we're not having to treat it. So even though we might lose a little money off of the bill every month, we're not paying to treat We should be having less expense involved too so it should be a loss theoretically i mean in their case who knows what it is it's in that water we don't want to treat it you know we don't want to send the first no it's a good on them. well who in this county is going to regulate that the, to make sure they're not putting the bad stuff in yeah, they got, you can easily there's a there's a formula for finding yeah. that out yeah Whatever they're hauling off, I don't think we want. It. Oh, I'm sure we don't. I just want to make sure there's no cross contamination. Who but travels the county to regulate that? There are multiple no. other systems that are also they receive a bill, and so with this motion, I'd also request that you know all costs be covered, and that be even the testing fee on an annual basis. And any filters that not might need to be replaced or any kind of thing like that, because I know that um, and we don't have the filters, but in the fuel world, we do. So. What she said. So, we'll need to be a table associated with this with line items for expenses to be expected when they do put one of these freaking flow meters. I know. I know where this is done somewhere else. I got the problem with it as long as it doesn't. And I'll pull and find I'll pull from them and find out how, how they have that formatted. So, so we're going to pay the list to them. Because I don't think this is something that's an immediate. Okay, for me, if that's the case, then I'll I'll pull I'll pull that I'll pull. So we're going to table this to make so that the, so that we've got the language that's needed for the format. Um, if you don't have to have the motion tonight, then we can table this, and I'll pull the data and I'll reach out to. Regina over at Lebanon to see how she has that broken down if it's not already on her website. Okay. Yeah. Anything else, sir? She is fine. All right. In the city farm meters versus irrigation meters, farm meters are charged sewer where irrigation meters aren't. And these be changed the same way the farm mayors aren't charged for sewage. The farm mayors. 
and diet. I think that's a great, I think it's a great observation. Uh, and do we hold this within the TAU? I mean, all this is great prerequisites to have on that TAUD study that we're doing for that race. We a couple years ago, we were farm right mm -hmm. out here in town in the city. It's only one in the city limits. But is it not for irrigation? The, wait, the, he was a um, non residential user on that account. He's farm use only. So he was farm use only. And he's part of, he is like one of the main reasons that we started this study request to define everything out. Well, I guess, Mr. Reese. I guess the, the, the irrigation thing, though, is it's in town. I mean, I'm, I'm not a farmer, so get my ignorance. <laughs> you use it for irrigation, but if you're in town, there's no chance that any of it ends up in storm drains or ends up in our sewer. There's no chance at all, none whatsoever. I guess we shouldn't be charging them sewer. Damn water gets complicated. I'm glad this ain't electricity. I think this is something that we don't need to make a decision on tonight. I think this is other than that we need to make sure that this is another content within the TAUD study. And I would request that you go ahead and keep bringing these to us to make sure when they bring us the study, we're not missing something that you thought of or you've been had a phone call of. Talk to me like I'm stupid. We're splitting the hair between irrigation and farm use. But that's what we're discussing here, right? We're asking to blend the two is what I'm interpreting this to yeah. be. But he said that for irrigation, they're not going to pay sewer. They don't. They don't. They don't. The, the farm don't. use in town. They do. So current. Unless it ends up in the zoo. Okay, that's one of them. So they, what's being run on it? That way it shouldn't end up in So they just water. This is hard. So they don't sewer. She said there's no sewer connected. They could be no sewer connected. So they just feel like a water drop or cat drink out of something. Man, we are going to get on this one two or three months. We're golden. We're waiting for the TAUD study. Where are they at? Is this a state agency? Forget I asked. <laughs> <laughs> Next. All right, we had an ocean inspection and by five violations, all of which had been or are being addressed. There was a combined space policy, gas detectors which we charged, need to be calibrated, annual refresher on OSHA, hazard communication plan, an unmarked floor deck, and uh, the meeting was held with Ms. Rosie. To the still and play the abandoned bond. Who got the ocean? That agent showed up there. No, it was it's, it was they the, never show up at our place. If I understand correctly, that this was the annual countywide, and they chose to um, the the annual county inspection, and they pick which departments they're going to um, inspect each time they come in, and. Uh, and they let us know just right before it happened. So they wrote you because the floor deck wasn't a floor deck. It wasn't labeled. It was not labeled that it was a floor deck. Yes, sir. Did it have this kind of engine? They had a the new ones, and they're gone after about a month. So they're and what they do was when they do the inspection, they find you um, hmm. at the on when they do these findings. They expect you to come up with the information instantly, and if you don't have that information instantly, we've had the DOT at our place. Then, then you are written up, and so there are five infractions, and so they came in and met with us and and walked us through that and explain. And this team, I was really proud of. They were able to hand to her and say, "Hey, okay, this is what we have. This is what we found. Most of it we have found, and and correct it there or have a plan of action." And it still means being written up.
you don't get, not get written that because of that, it just means, okay, by October, we're going to have all these, all these infractions completely corrected and turned back into them. Did I say that properly, Chief? Mm -hmm. No, she's tweaking. Okay. So. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't really like to hear that. Oh, sure. Thank you. you um, most of your files have been closed. So the one remaining is the confined space training that we should have planned for. So thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Next, sir. And Ms. Neely, and the um, our water loss for July had 35%, which is less than it was at the same time last year at 41.6%. Um, I expect this to be the fulfillment of August. Um, we've had quite a few leaks that have popped up. So. It's so dry. Get our big one. Um, that should be in the next, uh, that one will be the one that wants to make it. We know this next month's water loss report. Yes. Yes. Okay. We'll stay up behind him. Okay. So we'll see the results of that one next month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Um, then anything else in the major report? Oh, yeah. Oh, Dump truck. Dump truck. Unmetered water use at the fire hall. Oh, I'm curious about that. Oh, they don't have it. Yeah. Garden. Garden. Send them down, Bill. Well, it's always a whale. What now? It's always a whale. Is, is, that, is that issue come up because there's a leak? And, yeah. You know, we tried to find a leak. And, um, we probably need to leave it. Do we have one? I think the leak has been found. It's the issue of who's going to fix it. It's my it's right there in the backbone. As it comes up, the backbone, it's right there in the elbow or somewhere in that vicinity. So, do we need to speak to the fire chief about fixing it? Is that yes, sir. The recommendation would be to, to fix the water leak um, or the department's. You know, or you can cap the system off, but then they would lose an opportunity for somewhere to fill their, their trucks up in the event of emergency. And are you asking for anything else? We could put a meter on it, or they could let us know how much they fill up or something like that for water loss. Because we don't know when their sires or how much more okay. they're pulling out of that meter to even be in. So you, if, there's a, a lot of, if there's a meter on there, then that gives you your numbers mm -hmm. for that, and that helps with that as well. So, so did we fix the leak? No. Mm -hmm. It is not fixed. It's still a little water out there. If we fix it, we're capping it off and they'll no longer have access to it. But if they would like the access to it. If this is a service in water for the next year to provide water at no cost to the fire department, is that kind of what it's been? To my, to my knowledge as well, yes, sir. Yes. I've talked to other counties and they just tell them how much they fill up. You know, how much water they use and they're doing it. Yeah, you can write it off. You can write it off. You can write it off. I would go ahead. So I was on the volunteer fire department here several years ago. And uh, every time we had to fill with the tankers, yeah, we, had, we had a little report we filled out that said what hydrant, where, and how many gallons. And that's turned into here, you know, so you could, you could for the loss or whatever. But I'm okay. assuming that that's a long time. Assuming the issue is we have a leak, no one has traced it, so that, that's the issue. So we fix the leak. Yeah. Fix the leak, put a meter on it, because no offense, not casting aspersions on our volunteer fire department, but you've been here how long and you ain't seen a report of how much water they've used? Okay, then so it's, 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 it needs to be a big because okay. you obviously they obviously aren't doing the job. And I said it, it's out there for the world now. Well, Jimmy Anthony was the chief then. 
and they may be keeping up with that, but they're not sharing it with us. And and that's fine. Like I just need it if they are. Yeah, we, we just want to know too if we need the lady, we can wait for a meter right there. That's what we would want us. Okay. If we need to, you know, we'll have it there and put a meter. But it's up to y'all. I mean, a meter would be great. So the milk picks late if you put in the meter. Is that what you're saying? Oh, it depends on what comes to that, I guess. I mean, I'll say we'll put a meter in. It picks the lake while we're there because there ain't no point in water just sitting there. That's right. And at this point, we have no way of even knowing how much of our water loss could be double what it is right now. I mean, I'm just saying. It's a lot of water. He's laying. It's what I like about you calling. I'll bring it back and report to the fire chief. And if they don't want the meter in their name, then they can just the report on the water usage. <laughs> You would be a whole lot more accurate. Mm -hmm. No room for human error. All right. That concludes your report. Sir. Oh, don't throw. Sure. Okay, get two of them. Get two of them. <laughs> the clerk is at the end, everybody's packet. Um, it was. I think it's a little bit more than the other two quotes that they received, um, but I know I understand Mark that talked to Tony and maybe gotten another contact. So I'll get them Well, I may not have put it in the back. Oh, okay. It's me, man. Okay, yeah. Did you ever send your price on the, on the Kenworth? It says in this first email here. It just said that I plan to have the Kenworth T380 proposal to you on Monday if you have any questions or concerns. It's fine. It did not because it was going to be so long before we could get one of them. Really? I, I mean, honestly, for what you're getting, I, I know it's higher than the, the what was it, the internet, internet, but I mean, you're getting, to me, you're getting a lot better, sure. Okay. Um, I guess my only question is, since this is through worldwide equipment, it's not, so I would make sure that the national map they really don't have any, and they shouldn't, so I'll get you the number of that salesman over there. Uh, if you want him to call him up. You might be able to get it through him for the same price since okay. it's kind of government contract price, and I'd say it probably would be. Okay. Uh, but I just make sure that they're not going to have any issue taking care of service work for you because okay. at some point you're going to have to use them. Yeah. I hate to have to try to take it back and forth to Knox. Oh, yeah. That's urgent. How long was he? I was looking to see if it said how long he was honoring this price, but I don't see it on here. I think it's the same company about the ten more dollar over. Okay. They have to honor it because of the contract state. So, yeah. And that might be why you go to Knoxville. If Nashville's not a state, I don't know if they're state or not. So you need a motion on this or are you just letting us know that you're still shopping? I have to give a motion on it. If we're going to this one, we need a motion. If y'all want us to keep shopping, we can get out of it. What's the desire of body? Do we want it to charter over there before he wants I, to? I, I mean, you've got a quote on an international. You can't get a pin worth any time soon. Uh, the Mac, if, if I wouldn't go by the Mac, the only other thing I'd even look at would be a Western Star. Uh, and, and I mean, I, I don't think, I mean, maybe that's where you're going to ask them. 
Start it just says here he was going because I know Worldwide sells Mac and Kenworth. Mm -hmm. He just said he was going to get you a price on Kenworth. I just wondered if he ever did. Yeah, I mean, honestly, for I, I think that's a good price. Yeah. That's about two times what price does to be. Yeah. Second. First and second on the floor. Mayor McCall, Mr. White. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Anything else you need to fill us in, sir? Ma'am? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for your report. Next order of business is the general manager job description. That is my apologies for putting it back in the packet again. There was a clerical error on my fault, and it was um, just one line, and it was just talking about the certifications, uh, recommended experience and recommended certifications, um, that there was a preference um, at least that they have at least one certification or license for water, sewer, collections, or distribution. The only difference and I, um, that needed to be made to this job description before it could be advertised. I apologize for this, the mess up and delay. And I just would request a motion to accept the changes and put the bid, put it out for advertising. So moved. Second. A first and a second. Harper and White. All in favor say aye. Uh, and any opposed? Motion carries. Next order of business is our vacant board member position. Ms. Kendra Stafford reached out uh, about a month and a half ago and informed that she needed to uh, recuse herself from the board effective immediately. Needed that to be accepted um, by this and be placed into the minute so you all are aware. And then that'll also change our quorum requirements from here on out as well. Um, and that does leave one position open now for the mayor to refill. If anyone has, um, I know that there's been a couple of people that have said that they were interested. Um, Emily, I don't know if you want to say that name or get those to the mayor so that he we can take those into consideration for him I'll to turn um, on her on Ken Stafford's replacement. And if you, anyone else thinks of anyone that would do a good job, please let the mayor know as well. Um, the Tennessee State Bill 4282 United Systems quotes from cybersecurity. Yes, they um, the state passed a law about the cybersecurity last year. Um, we were able to get something drafted from our utility attorney that was only, I think it cost us like $200 that that um, covered all of the requirements of the state. Um, well, the company that does our system, they have now come up with a cyber plan um, that we can purchase from them, and it is $12,000 a year. So I told them I would present it to the board, but that right now we're covered at least for the next year because of what the lawyer has provided to us. And if that changes, the lawyer can also look at his, what he's provided. So I just have to let United know if we're going to go with or not. So we got another year? Yes. Right for a year. Okay. Personally, <laughs> You'll put bring that back. Well, you bring that back in probably about six to nine months. Then it'll be thirty thousand. Probably. Right. Unless anybody else has anything else on that. All right. Our next order of business is our public comments. So public. Okay. So, you come. Um, I just, well, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Bruce Lane. I live at 335 Langdon's Lane. I've lived in the county for about five years now. Uh, you know, we're the one with a million gallons of water leak. You know, the, there was no, no sign of a water leak at all. Um, I know some of you might see the news. 
I had a new new spot that my mom take a look at it because I think it, it's it's a little crazy to say that you know ten thousand dollars for water meter. Uh, you know, I know why that's where it's leaking. I asked my wife that Sunday. I said, "Hey, have you noticed anything with the water water bill?" She said, "No, last month was sixty dollars." So okay, shit, it must be just the shower heads a little clogged or something. So the next day when I mowed, and I mowed right up to it, and I stopped the mower, shut the mower off, no sound, nothing. So I went on about my day. That week, I think it's the 15th, I got a phone call saying, hey, you know, you used almost a million gallons of water with a little chuckle at the end saying that I should have a lake. Too. You know, I don't, I didn't find it very funny at the time because I just got told I had a $10,000 water. Right, so I go home, 45 minutes later, it's fixed. It was one joint where the glue had come loose and there was no break in the pipe, there was nothing. I went and I basically just walked where I've had problems in the past and kicked some dirt over and found it. You know, so you can see, I mean, I have pictures where basically I dug it out and I just basically started playing with the joints and you know, there was a little bit of play in there. If I could have gotten that old glue off of it, I could have just re glued it, stuck it back together, and it was good. But instead, I cut it, put a new joint in there, and it's fixed. I mean, I, I check it every day before I go to work. I got down there and check it out because I was told that the, the meter sensor that you, that you guys have on the thing is just a plus. Like, that's not, that's not there to help you. Right, so which again I find a little crazy because most of Charlottesville County is rural residents that have long driveways and long, long water lines. So if that meter works, which it does, that, that little transmitter, it's worked every other time that they've called. I've had no problem. You know, every time they've called, I'm thankful. I've never been never been rude or anything like that. I go home and I fix the problem. It's done. This time, this went on for, I don't even know how long, with nobody calling. And then when I asked Mr. Crook, you know, he said, well, the, the thing wasn't reading. So why wasn't it reading? Well, I don't know. And I told him, so it's kind of unacceptable. I mean, I'm relying on you guys to help me out. You know, my, my water line's almost between half and three quarters of a mile long. It goes all through, the, you know, the woods and everything else. I can't. What am I supposed to do? Walk that line every day to try to find these leaves? Am I supposed to be looking at my meter every day? You know, like you, you can't you can't expect somebody to pay a ten thousand dollar water when you guys have the technology to help, right? Like it's there. Now for the last two months, that thing's been down inside the the meter. What's been down? The transmitter has been knocked off the top of that box. So for two months, it wasn't fixed. It was fixed after I called the news. It got fixed that week. So, I mean, again, you guys call me, I go fix it. It's not like I'm trying to trying to do something wrong. Everybody here should know that I didn't use a million gallons of water. Not even close. I didn't even know how to leak. So, I mean, how big is your water line? Big, inch and a half pipe all the way up to the house. It's how big? Inch and a half. Inch and a half. Yeah. So, I mean, again, the pipe wasn't busted. The pipe's been busted in the past. It was busted earlier this year when the the crew that uh, was trimming the trees for the power lines came up and drove over it. Yeah, that was what, $1,700 water bill? Mm -hmm. I got them to pay for it. So, I mean, I guess I'm just asking for a little bit of help here. Like, how would it take a million gallons to run for an inch and a half pipe? Especially when it's not broke. Right off my hand, I can make a save when he's on. So they've got an inch meter, a month of standard three quarter. I think that, one more water bill than an inch. Yes. I mean, that's, well, more volume. Yeah. Uh, pressure than I can do. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to think I got another $3,000 water bill coming. 
because the building cycle ended on the sixth. I didn't need to fall for the fifteenth. So basically, a third of a month is going to be charged for the next bill. So now I got a three thousand dollar water bill on top of that. So thirteen dollars, thirteen thousand dollars worth of water. I mean, you cannot expect somebody to pay. Excuse me, how do you how deep is your water line? Your water supply line to your house? Where that one is, it's about eight inches, right in that area. Okay. Um, water lines are supposed to be uh, eight inches, twelve inches deep, and then it's ten inches below the cross line. Right. So, and that would help protect your line too. It's the same. Right. And then, like, man, I was still wet. Well, maybe the, the water lines. You know, basically the free run is six inches. Nobody, nobody told me. I'm not pumped, right? Let's be honest, I'm not pumped. So were you the one who fixed the, made the repair or did yeah. you have someone come in? Okay. I fixed it, but most likely I'm gonna have a plumber come out and tear up that whole line and fix it because in that area it's a problem. You know, it froze one year, I think, I don't know. And if it's only that deep, that's probably why. Right. That's why there's the state law for there to be the 12 of us to I think, I can't guarantee you how deep it is, but I guarantee you I put blame on dirt on it since I picked it the first time. I put buckets, bucket loads of dirt and put on top of it. So I didn't I didn't measure how deep it was, but it's, it's at least 12 inches. And there's also... Um, There's also, look, if you fix this yourself, you need to make sure that you have the equipment that's properly installed or the proper equipment to install for water flow to be handled through the conduit, not actually for it to be returned. And so, like, if you've got a water line that has a high power pressure, um, you want to make sure that you have the right um, connectors right. when you're doing those uh, because. They can eat. if you do not have the one that's for the water pressure, then it can easily pop back off again. And so right. that's one reason why I was asking. And I do absolutely hate your misfortune. Um, I have I've actually felt your misfortune before. I have over a mile and a half long water line privately owned from uh, from my, from the main road to my home. I you know, I do live in a rural area. I've had a private water line for twenty six years, and it's this board and this organization's duty to provide safe water to your meter. No matter how many water leaks I've had myself. But one of the most amazing things that this board did do is they went out and pursued an organization that would help us to protect all of our customers as a whole. And that is where we came with the organization for the, the breakage um, insurance program. And so uh, I hope that you had reached out and acquired that. Okay, that's $2,500. I mean, that's like a drop in the bucket of 13000 I completely understand. I, I think I speak for the whole board. We're, we're, nobody's going to leave you hanging or hang you out to dry. Um, there, there were some problems on the water department side, and I'm not pointing fingers at any individual. Uh, as far as the way it was presented to you, I'm sure the lady didn't mean anything by it. I mean, we're down south. She'd probably just try and be friendly. Oh, uh, I get that you're upset. I, I truly do. As far as Tony goes, I mean, I don't I don't think we have a, a liquid into it. Uh, uh, nobody can say with any degree of certainty how long it would take to leak a million gallons of water. I mean, that's, that's there's no way to calculate that. In this room, uh, as far as the way your lines installed, I mean, you said they drove over it and it broke. Well, that's a problem right there. Your line ain't nowhere near deep enough at all. And that's not pulling things at you. You you said you're gonna dig it all up and rebuild. I, I don't blame you. Uh, we have to look internally though, because admittedly the ball was dropped in a couple of places, but I seriously doubt that it was intentional. I don't know. And as long as as long as we continue to go along, we're going to find places where, as an organization, we have to tighten up a little bit. We have to do a little better here, you know, because there's no way they're going to know everything all the time. I wasn't aware that the leak insurance only covered up to twenty five hundred dollars. In most cases, that would be more than sufficient 
but there are going to be outliers like this one where that maybe that's not enough. Maybe we need to revisit that and see if we can come up with something else for extreme cases. Uh, and I'd say this is about as extreme as it can get. Um, but uh, I mean, I guess I would just ask the question. If I was a 75 year old lady on a fixed income, what would you guys do for me? She'd be standing here going through the same thing you are right now because right. we have to look internally and figure out first what went wrong other than your water line broke. You know, how okay it broke. It's not your nine, but for the last six weeks. So, yeah, matter what are we getting on The line broke. Lines break. I mean, it happens, but but we got to figure out, you know, how we didn't catch it fast. Well, as far as the notification part, yes, something had happened to the they call it the puck, and it was not reporting to the tower. However, that doesn't mean his meter wasn't reading. So Scotty just dropped by and picks it up, you know, and with the truck, and that's how we found it. By the time we got the information into the computer, we spit out our monthly reports that we do. That's when he, he was called immediately. As soon as we saw that, he was called. But we, not everybody in town has enough service to where we can call them when they have leaks. They're, the towers don't pick yeah. up. Yep. So yep. just because your tower wasn't picking up, that doesn't throw any red flags because we're used to towers out in Cato or here or there intermittently picking up or not at all. They will not be back up. Yes. And I'm not pointing fingers back at the water department by any stretch. I just I feel like well, and that, I believe that we have a unique situation we that we can look internally to maybe see if we can put some controls in place so it doesn't happen again, so that we don't have an angry customer pointing fingers at good, hardworking people who try to do their jobs. I'm not pointing fingers. I know, I know. I, I'm, I'm not saying you are. I mean, it, it's a it's a freak. I mean, it, it, I've been on the board five six years and I ain't never had nobody burn through a million dollars or a million gallons of water. No. Oh, uh, I about died when I saw the email. I thought you were joking. They I mean, food. so if it, how did my meter get red on the six? He drove by. He, oh, yeah, the drive by. The box, see, the top will come off, but the bottom will fall off, and the box where can't even see. The top was the arm. Well, the top was completely gone. I don't know where it went. Yeah, that means your puck is gone completely. And so it we went, the bottom. So we, they wouldn't know until we came back the next oh, morning. Oh, probably. And he could. When he drove by, he would pick up his truck. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the thing is, is like from the 6th to the 15th, I mean, how, how would it not fall? You know? She, what she just said, by the time they got the reading, Got it in, got the information in the system, and the computer generated the report. That's when they figured out there was a problem. There is a time lag there. I don't know if that's something that can be well, there's, or there's if it's just so there's a three day lag time in from when the, the meters are read to when they're put in the computer. So even though it was the villain stopped on the sixth, he may not have gotten all his readings in until the eighth or ninth. So then we still have to get everything uploaded and get our reports ran. But as soon as that report came out and we saw your usage, you were called. I mean, it was fixed in what an hour after you installed. I mean, you, you guys called and said, "Hey, we're going to send them out there to shut us, and please do." I went out there and literally fixed it. It took me an hour to fix it. I mean, by the time I got home from London or from Galveston, it was an hour and a half. Those so I mean, like, if you guys, if you guys help, like, and I'm not saying you're not. I'm just saying, like, when you guys help and you guys call, you guys have called me when I use ten thousand gallons to fill the pool. You guys have called me every other time. Mm -hmm. You guys have never not called me, except for this time. There was something that happened, mm -hmm. right? So we burned through a million gallons of water. Our last, the previous month was sixty dollars. That was the water bill. So from that month, from that water bill to the end of this one, we burned through almost a million gallons of water, 980,000 gallons of water. So and when you had the water situation, you were wondering, you know, something was going on, like from the way you described to us. So was there a time period you were having problems with your pressure? 
it seemed like not so when I take a shower, that's the only time I, I kind of noticed it. But some of our jets and our shower head are clogged, so they don't spray. So I thought, well, I look up at it. And that's why I asked my wife, how was the water bill last week? Because that's how I would gauge it. You know, I hadn't got a call. And then the next day I went down and checked it to make sure that it wasn't leaking. And the way where it's leaking, it leaks down the hill. So the water was going down and going out down there. That's how there was no way to find it. It went down into the creek, went down into the pond, went over across the field and down into the second creek. So did you check your meter to see that the, if the numbers were flowing? I'm just curious. I'm, no, I, I've literally 26 years of a long line. I, I'm a professional right. at this. So, um, <laughs> you know, I, I, I definitely do. You go check the meter and see if the numbers run it. And so you check your line to make sure that there's not any kind of breakage within the, in the ground saturated. But then also you've got a meter that is premature. I mean, historically, that was the source. And legally, that's our resource for knowing at this department to collect the data of how many how much you use and it'll show you there we had our last leak was it was an underground leak and you could not see it anywhere we had to have all this equipment brought out we were putting pe pexelon is that what that's called pex we, we're trying to slowly change our line and it's where the connectors had were not secured together well enough wow. and so there there's there's a lot of hard knocks living on a farm in a rural area with rural water. And that's where you and I both live right now. In the city, the, the water line from homes to meters and meters to the to the providers is our only feet. We're talking miles here now. And so I have to ask you, next time do go back and make it, check, check your meter. And because it's gonna tell you it is it is gonna fly. And it will. And I hate this for you. I hate this for your family. But this is a situation that since this department has gone and created a relationship and a contract with an insurance provider, providing funds to every single one of our customers out there who have this situation, a accident forgiveness, that we have to really take into consideration whether you're the 75 or 85 year old woman standing there or whether you're you. And how... And how can we legally assist you and not hinder our pre-existing legal agreement with the other group? And so um, I'm not really sure what all you're asking us to do, but I, because um, I know you just keep, all you've said is um, if we would help. Well, the second this team was notified that the pup wasn't working, yes, due to the news showing us, the next day they were instructed to go get that fixed. And that man, and that man right there, and that man right there was proactive all the day. Yeah. It was straight before the news got that. But I mean, it wasn't, you know, if that pup works, this, this whole conversation doesn't, doesn't happen. Right, so I think that maybe internally we look at how do you get these transmitters to work better? Do you put up more towers, you know, to help the people of this county? Because it is you yeah, guys help. Internet. But but yeah. the flip side of that though is is you also give this organization an opportunity to do what it's supposed to do before you go involving the media. I mean that's kind of a so it's uh, because I call them the media. I, mean, I don't care. You call Channel 4, Channel 5, get Fox, Turco, uh, Larry yeah, Williams. No, like they don't matter. But you call. And they're going to come running because you got a $10,000 water bill because ain't nothing going on in Nashville today. Uh, that just makes them look bad. It makes us look bad. And you didn't even give us the opportunity to help. You did that. Then you came in asking for help. No, you didn't. I told you that the board is going to do what they can to help you. But Ms. Bay stated that we have contractual obligations. And we also can't establish 
we can't open the door to where somebody else has a water leak that they know about but we don't know about and they just let it run because they don't care and they come in here and tell us i don't want to pay this water bill yeah but historically i've always fixed it i've always been grateful for you guys helping me i, I have never one time with the bill fed the hand that fed me you guys call i go fix it so i'm not that person that has the water leak for a month that says you know what i'm going to pay this water bill but you didn't pick up the phone and call us I did. I talked to him. Mm -hmm. I told him to the water bottle me when you went to the news. So are you guys upset that I went to the news and that I didn't call you guys? Because when I talked to Mr. Crook, he told me that it's a plus that you guys call me. It is. Yeah. And there was really nothing that he could do. And he was kind of new in the position he didn't know. So come to the water bottle me. That's what he told me. Yeah, we're not obligated. So, we made that phone call. We're not. We're not. We're only obligated to supply the drinking water to your meter, and that's it. We we don't have to call if you've got a leak. We do that as a courtesy. It is. And it sort of hurts a lot of people because the lady was being nice. So we, as a board. And I, as chair, have reached out to legal to pull the contract with, with the insurance provider for the to make sure that we would not have any issues with a discrepancy with their with them providing our the service, so that we can even find out what we can do. And we she's been pull, she's trying to pull the contract. Get the contract from them, and um, the attorney for the department is aware of the situation and has um, and knows that that contract's headed his way. Yeah, the other part is I told Mr. Cook, I'd be happy to pay. I'm not asking for a handout. If you guys don't want to give me nothing, that's fine. I'm fine with that. But you guys have to understand those gotta be realistic payment terms. Like we are I completely family. understand now that I, and I can't completely really understand that. Um that's a that's a lot of money in one month for any household. I can't we can afford it. I mean we live on budget. So I mean I'm retired military, I have a job in Galaxy. I mean that's that's what we have. My wife works in Nashville. We're not rich. We're not independently wealthy. I'm not sitting on a stack of cash. I think everybody in this room works hard for the dollar that they right. make. You send me a ten thousand dollar wealthy and just cut it off. And that's the hell I'm asking. I'm not asking for a hand up. And nobody's saying you are, and nobody's saying we're not gonna do anything to help you. We just we have to do this. I mean, if we open the wrong door, then we're in trouble as a board and oh, as a yeah. utility. So this is go, this is this this will take some time. Mm -hmm. I mean, but if you guys want to work with me, we'll make payments on it. We'll get it. Done. We, we don't we don't even know that it's it's going to be a payment situation. We we we. Well, we, he said, well I mean, he's saying that. I mean, he's got a bill that's due, and he's got another one's going to be late. Well, then we just don't cut him off so till we till we figure that out. might be a good motion that we have made by this board. Um, so that we have that on record that you make the motion that um, he's not cut off as long as he's making his payments. If I remember correctly, when he had, he had one in the past and he made um, sure. there's already there's arrangements for that. Yeah. 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 Your account, you, you didn't build the house. Somebody else built the house. Your account started in nineteen. If I remember yeah. correctly, that's correct. Yeah. And um, then you uh, had a leak about. Six, Seventeen hundred, seventeen. Yeah. What's that? The first one, okay. seven dollars. Okay. The water bill potentially covered twenty five hundred, and I think we were responsible for forty five. I and mean, we paid that. I paid a couple of payments, and then I just knocked it out. Mm -hmm. I got uh, some cash from selling something, and just knocked it out. So, how many large leaks have you had? That this is the second big one. We've had uh, a twenty five hundred and a seventeen hundred. So we've had four four leaks. Mm. Four leaks on a house that did not build, right? Someone else did. Did you put the water in or did somebody else put the water in? Everything was done when we bought the house. The, the company built it. We bought the house when it was five years old. Um, you know, figured a five year old house, what problem could we have? Um, <laughs> Thank you. 
Plato, but not cut his water off. If I hear maybe. Everybody okay if not awesome. making sure you have to get on that. Thank you. I took that as a motion. Okay. Second. Yes. Uh, there's not to cut off and as payments are continuously made and and the cost for that to be taken care of while we hear wait to hear back from legal. Uh, we're not a one-sided board, sir. We're a team. Well, we're a team for the community to pro provide a quality service with a quality team. Right. And I think I think some people part were hurt oh. when that when their team was felt like they had received mud in their face when they reached out to you as soon as they could. And I'm just heartened for that for them because they work really hard to provide a quality service for you. And we don't we 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 donate a lot of time to be here to help to make sure as well. I, I, if we can get him to show up. But I promise I was not trying to I don't even know what that is or anything like that. Like, I'm scared to death. I got a $10,000 water bill. I don't know how I'm going to pay it. I don't know if anybody's going to help me. I don't know what's going on. I mean, you've been in my shoes, right? I've definitely you been in your shoes. You're scared and you don't know what it's... to do. I don't have a lot of friends around here. I don't have people I can call. I don't know anybody on the board. I know probably four people in this challenge, right? So, like, I don't have anybody here. So, this is the water department. This is the water board. Right. They, this team provides a service for you. You identified you're a military man. I'll take the bull by the horns with you, sir. On this topic. I appreciate I'll, I'll meet I'll meet you on this and I'll work with you and walk with you. And so will everyone at this table. I appreciate it. But, but in the, in the future, it's like my daddy always said, you get the precious water at the head of the spring. No pun intended. Oh. Problems of water come to water. We'll work for you. Um, I mean, I, yeah. Do we need to? Do we need a motion? That we, we have a first and second. If I can have, if I can have, uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. You're welcome. Yeah, I, uh, we will get. We will keep in touch with you as soon as we find anything out from Mr. Wall. Thank you all. Thank, thank you. Third. Negotiate. Okay, I'll back in. Let's go, Lowe's. Call up.